Welcome back to the 11th part of elementary statistics. We're going to be looking at percentile in this video, and no, you're not dreaming. I did add uh, the number in the bottom of the video because I, even I was losing track of where I was, uh, so that'll make it easy. But yes, the first 10 parts uh, do not have uh, that on there uh, in case you suddenly stumbled across it and like, hey, why does this look different? <clears throat> That's why. So in percentile here, we're going to be looking at uh, returning the value at the percent of the distribution from the data uh, observations. In our example, we're going to look at percentiles of every tenth percent, but it could be every second percent, every third percent, etc. Okay. So uh, in t sequel, what I'm going to be doing here is we're going to build a uh, common table expression. And I'm only doing this because what we can do with the data, and we're using the same data set, by the way, is we can go ahead and we can call this query. <clears throat> and I'm going to bring this up here so that we can see what's happening with this intile. But what, by using intile 10, I'm saying break the data by a percentile um, uh, into 10 parts. So that, that's going to be divisible by 10. For instance, if I were to do 20, et cetera, I would get a different answer. But I'm doing 10 because I want to see the 10 percentiles of data. And so what we can see, because we know that there's 20 values, is that every two values, we end up in a new percentile. So this is the 10th. Um, whoops, sorry, I highlighted. This is the 10th. This is the 20th. Oh, I did it again, 20th. Uh, this is the 30th. This is the 40th, etc. <clears throat> and so what that does is that will uh, that'll break that down into however many I want. So I want it to be broken down into 10 because I want every 10th percentile. And so I can see the distribution. <clears throat> but usually what we're wanting when we want is, let's say, um, for instance, going back to the pull-up example, I know that 80% uh, of people in my area cannot do one full pull-up. I may be looking at what is the 80th percentile as a case in point. And so I'm going to be um, calling this here. <clears throat> which is going to look at some aggregate functions, the max, the min, and the average of each of these percent, uh, percentiles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's actually draw this back up. <clears throat> and what we'll see when we look at uh, the max of the group and the min of the group and that almost looked like a D, and then the average of the group here is that, you know, for instance, the 10th percentile on the max, and this is usually what we'd be looking at, is, you know, 0, 0 for the 20th, 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th, but when we finally get to the 70th percentile, that's when we actually have student loan debt, 80th, 90th, and then the 100th per percentile, right? So, um, Generally, it's going to be this max right here is what we're going to be looking at when we look at the percentiles. But there may be an average. This one comes up quite a bit when we're breaking down data as well. What is the average in the 10th percentile? Or what is the average in the 20th percentile, etc.?